I'm going to do it again, Kip. Go, go, go! We are back. <laughs> Even though, technically, guess what we have, Kip? Well, you would know you set it up. Well, it's, it starts with the number four right. of fourth, Mike. We don't have anybody <laughs> there, though. It's Not lonely. Yet. It's well, we lonely. Will. It looks so lonely. It's just waiting for a fight companion. That's what it's doing. Well, you know what happened, though. Our sponsor bought that. Yes. Who's our sponsor? What's that guy's name? Yeah, he's tall, tall. dark. Not dark. Bald. He's not so. Yeah, he's bald. He's angry. Yeah. He, w- he constantly wants to hurt me. Oh, it's Chad. Chad. Yeah, it's Chad. 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 Remember, yeah. At Black Lion. Jujitsu. Ju- I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. Uh, we'll just go with BJJ. I don't even, right. You yeah. Know. And uh, he's incredible. And it's one of the best schools in Grand Rapids. Oh, it's the best school. I just checked. And uh, hey, if Croyler can have the best school in Indiana. Which he does. And we can have the best one in Michigan. And we do. Fact. Fun fact. Suck it. Bam. And I want everybody to come and beat me up. Everybody out there, come get me. Come get some. There's a target on my I back. I got a three-stripe white belt ready to roll <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> I will jerk you up. <laughs> or squeal a little while you beat me. That's all right. As long I'll as you come. make it awkward. As as, it'll be fun. We'll take pictures. Post them on Instagrams and the socials. Show, oh, show, Nobody, show, show, show me, yeah. <laughs> nice. But anyway, well, thank you, uh, thank you, Chad Pomeroy. And to become our sponsor, he's actually yeah. giving us some stuff to show. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. Free will, uh, free will just to fuck up pictures all all around his place. <laughs> exactly. Now it is technically, technically, Black Line Studios. It is. But it, oh, it's not even technically. This is Black Line Studios exactly. now. Holy shit. Perfect. We just named it that on our own. And now we get paid to do it. Yay. Yay. Love it. So, oh, who else do we have here? I heard some weird whiny voice. I know. Somebody's sad about things. She wanted to, she where, wanted to talk about our, uh, where, our oh! future upcoming story, which we will, oh, we will delve into later. What, what's her name again? Producer Coley. Hi. Hi. She already talked earlier. I know. And it confused me. I was like, who the hell is here? She's over there just sitting so pretty. She's like a good three feet away from me. I know. <laughs> Got lost. I'm playing footsies with her right now. At least she's away from my damn feet. So I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Keep them under your chair. I, do you see <laughs> where my Do you see where my feet are right now? I cannot. I'm uncomfortably sitting to keep my feet away from you. <laughs> she threatened me at dinner after making me dinner. Hey, Ben got you in the end. The last that son of a bitch. He made it two hours, two hours. And the fucker, he's like, and foot. Bam, found it. Way to go, Ben. Asshole. Good interview. Good though. interview. It was fun. <laughs> Good interview, though. Hey. Except for you couldn't hear him. Sorry, everyone. Come on, Ben. Hey, put Ben that mic. ran away from the mic for two hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Beat the piss out of the mic, and then he like yeah, walked away. He from had some it, fucking so personal against hear. the mic. That was good. And he's back. <laughs> and then back. But the only problem was he stayed way the hell over here. He never came back. So sorry, Ben. For future podcast guests. You are in trouble. Eat a mic. No, this is not going to go well for all mic. the rest of yeah. our people. So, this is, this Curler is knows how to do it. Curler's been interviewed. <gasps> Curler's been interviewed. Right. He will know what to do. And if he doesn't, I'm not telling him fucking shit. <laughs> Curler, I, I hear. I hear you're coming on. I'm. I am uh, very excited. We're not going to give a date because uh, if he breaks us too much earlier in the day. It may not work out. Yeah, if, if my hands don't work to grab the mic to bring it up to my face, yes, then it's, just it's not, not going to work. work. Yeah. So it's so. on you, Kryler. You can't break us. Oh, my God. Well, I, yeah, but the only thing is we want him on. I don't know if yeah, he cares. Right. <laughs> Maybe producer Nicole can, like, put the mics up against their face for That's us. That's about all I can yeah. do. As, as our oh, arms and slings. Push the <laughs> With I got a nose. I can do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I make it seem like my job's so simple. Yeah, don't exactly. fire me. Don't fire me. We can't that. find new people. Ooh, I have a fun drink. And the last uh, the last show Crow was on was excellent. Mm-hmm. Esoteric. It was. Maybe that's not the word. Too, seri- mm. too serious. It is too serious. Well, no, but that was a ser- more serious it was. interview. Yeah. And he's a Gracie, so for some reason, if you're on in on on that bloodline, yeah. in that bloodline, you're smarter than me. <laughs> it's, yeah, well. it's a given. There's like an infant. They're, smarter they're probably, than probably definitely going to know more about jujitsu <laughs> and such than we are. Everyone does that, though. Yeah. Well, we got to come up with all kinds of fun questions for him. Oh, yeah. It, it's got to be like, serious questions. No. Serious no, no, no. questions 
about bullshit. We'll do, we'll do like a, we'll we'll do like a good mix because I I have some questions I want to know. Yes, but I mean, come on, it's oh, grappling, Dad. Just, it is not serious. Yeah. I can't wait to ask him what his favorite fucking pie is. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so Croiler, in the world of jujitsu, where does rhubarb stand? <laughs> What's your favorite holiday, Croiler? <laughs> Tell us all about it. Oh, I hope his mom yeah. listens yeah. and loves it because I've heard she's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Maybe we should have her on. She might bake for us. Ooh. Ooh. She would cook? Croiler, she you're out. Cook. Your mom's in. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Croiler mom. We, we just decided. Awesome. Uh-oh. Anyways. Uh, Who else we got to talk about, Kip? We got another thing. Well, nothing. I'm scared of Croiler again now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you did it this time. So, you no, know, I, I mean, we got some things to talk about. Um, we have Croiler brought up, so why don't we just go on to what segments we're going to start doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to have a, what'd you call it? I called it Croiler's Corner. I like it. So, so he has agreed, and now you're bound to it because we've put that out there. And you'll disappoint hundreds of Ones. children? Fifteens. Sweetie, fifteens of people. Oh, we're There's up to more than now? that. You children, faces. children shouldn't be listening to this show. Let's be honest. Wow, our sponsors are gonna fucking love this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tap tape's gonna be like, uh, we yeah. We're on almost every continent now. Oh, right? hold on. Before you talk we talk about that, talk about tap tape. Tap tape. Right no, now. I was this gonna bring it up later. You really douche. Crazy. You want to bring that up later? Or not? Yes, we're bringing it up later. But <laughs> everyone, tap tape rules. It, it does. We'll, we'll give you a review Side later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Moving. We on. have another dude. Man, you took my thunder. I did. Who you the, gave him the list, and you then gave me the list, and then you're like, him. "Let me just keep trying to give all the segments on I, there." I'm not, I'm not used to giving you the list. Okay, I, I still okay, have my okay. List circling back around, yeah. circling back around. This, this is the Morgan episode all over again <laughs> <laughs> with less whispering. <laughs> no, it's not. It's creepy. I love you, <laughs> Morgan. Don't kill me. Anyways, uh, so do you want to describe what you think Croiler Corner is going to be, and I can just correct you and say it's wrong. Okay, what I, how I see this going <laughs> is it's going to be a serious subject, dropping some major knowledge that you wouldn't normally think about. That I will poop on. Right, and we're going to just mock it. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to take your, your heart and soul and shit all over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we're on the same page. All right, good, so I'm right. <laughs> and now Crawler's out. <laughs> so the people that want to listen to it and, and, and benefit from it, and they we're gonna po- we're gonna right. post it on the uh, on our website. We're gonna do a lot more on our website. I'm gonna try to Coley. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> by that we mean <laughs> by Mr. Nicole's. By that I'm going to teach Coley how to do stuff. <laughs> partially because, well, not even partially because she's way more organized than me. I'm like, oh, I'll fix a website, and she's got grammar. Never. <laughs> it's a good looking website. It looks pretty. Doesn't do a damn thing. But hey, but no, I think it's uh, gonna be really cool to have him involved in the show. Agreed. On a serious note, he is one of the best person people. Keep going. Okay, that's horrible. Awesome. Yeah. Horrible. He's See one what of happens the, when we try to be serious on the show? Yeah. You know, no, a moment of seriousness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. God, I'm stupid. I should have wrote a note. My brain is burning. <laughs> so he is one of the best public speakers I've watched. He... It's just insane. It's just off the cuff. He just talks about it. It's great. Yeah, we actually we actually questioned if he wrote something down and like yeah prepared. Yeah, prepared for it. I could have like, sworn he prepared. I, I guess if your your whole life is dedicated towards something, you probably have a lot to say on the subject, which is cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah and well, and he's he's an interesting guy. Anyways, yeah. he he really is outside the jam. He's awesome. Um, I, I like to call him a friend. I don't think he would, though. <laughs> I was going to say so, that's a one-way so street. I can, it, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, and, uh, but no, he's a great guy. So I think having him involved in the show is going to be really, really cool. Um, For sure. And it's going to be a weekly thing. So, you know, we try to do two a week of these for we you try. guys. We try. We At don't always pull it off. Week, yeah. At least once a week, you're going to get on Thursday. It's a GD Thursday. Every Thursday. Every third day is a G. So, oh, I screwed that up. Yeah, you did. Way to fuck up that you greatness. Actually a, you actually did a really good job, and I ruined it. Yeah, you did. You're like, I want to be involved. For, yeah, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop Dog. on that bandwagon. Let me ride your coattail. <laughs> oh, let me rip your coat off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucked it up, and yeah. you fell with me. I'm sorry. So that's all good. So what other segments are you thinking about having? You had something in mind, didn't you? I, I might have, and I forgot about it. You right forgot it? Now. What a dumb bastard. Okay, like, hey, I wrote, I gave you all my notes. Yeah, and it's not on here. It's not on there. So Crap. No, so I think uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Paulie's pro tips for me. Uh, um, 
everyone seems to enjoy those for some odd reason. And even though they're wildly incorrect. Oh, yeah. My, my, my <laughs> wildly like incorrect. Sam. That may or may not be accurate. Yeah. It, like, it, you know, you got to set that, it, that precedent that it's not right. You know, you know what would be fun? I could do a Paul Perotti pro tip, and then Croiler could shit on it on his Croiler's Corner the next week, going, no, no, don't listen to that. Here's how it really <laughs> is. Paul's a moron. Right. We can just That's go, wildly wrong. Yeah. yeah, so Paul's pro tips and Croiler's Corner can just go back and forth shitting on each other. It'd be great. No, no, you're, no, 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 um, no, because your your pro tips are funny. No, good, especially when you give ones that uh, that I've I've tried and it didn't work, and you're still whoa, selling whoa, them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You name one that didn't work. I don't want to, dude. Right You'll now, get butt hurt. Oh, I'm already butt hurt. So <laughs> how's it just follow through? Play through, Kip. That's a golfing play term, through. isn't Did it? You just tell me yes. to play through. That would be me hitting a ball over your you and just driving by and going, "Have a good round." <laughs> That's what that means. Yes. Play through means I'm playing slow. You go in front of me. Oh. Yeah, so nice try. Hey, I had the golfing term down, though, didn't I? Be proud. Be proud. Did you hear how unenthused Coley was? Yeah, she's like, oh, God. Good, move on. So, but we do have other things fine that I'm working on that we're going to get going. Uh, The t shirt votes are going to be tallied up by the wonderful producer, Coley. So you will be knowing shortly, probably the beginning of next week. I will yeah. post who the winner was, and Paul and I will then draw a name for someone to get a free shirt. Corler's getting one in the hopes he won't kill me. Love you, Corler. That's for me, too. Just no, saying. it's not just me. <laughs> that dude's a dude. She was like, no, no, I don't want Corler to get one. He's an average white, uh, average black belt. He doesn't get one. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Paul. <laughs> So, but uh, I think we should talk about cool stuff like, uh, I don't know, pre-workout that uh, all these kids seem to be taking, and I don't know why. Okay, so Kip and I were discussing the fact that we go to class, and there's all these water bottles and jugs, and they all have this pre-workout. Neon colors as yeah. far as the eye can see. Yeah. <clears throat> like death in a bottle. Yeah, it's little shaker bottles. So we work out, and it's, well, I guess for me it's bedtime. Because <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure that a pre-workout is a whole bunch of nitric oxide and caffeine to get nitrous you just, oxide. Yeah, is it? I think is that why they call it nitro. Yeah, that shit. Okay. Yeah, so nitric oxide it gives you it's it's the same thing they put in dick pills. It's uh, it 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 uh, it's a vasodilator. It makes more blood go through your system. That's in- Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I've never known what the fuck that shit does. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, same thing in uh, Viagra. You know, it's it's just a blood flow thing, but for your whole body. So Morgan's taking Viagra. Got it. Go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work the same for women. Otherwise, it'd be Viagretta. That was stupid. Moving on. Oh, my God. So He yeah. just did a dad joke on here. I tried. It may be in the name. Don't do that. My bad. My bad. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, no more dad jokes. They come up in my head. I don't tell them. <laughs> but yeah, so so people are 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 trying are trying to get jacked for working out, and then you got our shit show telling people, <laughs> "Whoa, slow down, man. Just relax. <laughs> relax. It's like, fun. Like, bro, I don't want to be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the stoners of the gym that don't do any drugs. Yeah." So we're uh, you you weren't there on Wednesday because you were out of, out of time for training. I was, but we were talking about flow rolling and hey, you learn more during flow, during flow flow bleh, flow roll for fro afro is, rolling. Is, is that yeah. like froyo? Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yogurt? Fro, yes, Yum. frozen. Yeah, right. Delicious. And then uh, it's funny. Yeah, one of our our uh, teammates, Rob, goes, "It's a really good idea." I don't know how to do it. It was. <laughs> It was hilarious. How do you apply that? <laughs> it's just like, I know it's great. I see the value. Can't get myself to do it. <laughs> well, he's a, sma- he's a smash guy, man. He tells you. I love that he's just like, yeah, he owns that's it. not my repertoire. I loved it. He owns his own. Like, yeah, do you want a flow roll? Not your guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing a flow roll. Go ahead, just move on. He's like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know what you're getting when you come and roll with me. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes and I love that, dude. That's what, oh, gosh, it's awesome. I like it. So. You know, just yeah, just be honest, honest with uh, with what you do, and he does it, so that's cool. I love don't it. Like, don't don't be that that douche that goes yeah, flow roll, crossing your fingers behind your back, and then <laughs> ramping it up slowly because you can't stand to lose. Watch as I headbutt you in the face <laughs> as we start to roll. <laughs> we can flow roll just as long as I get to win every single time. 
and you want to know what? Quick tangent. I know shocker, everyone, <laughs> but Rob, uh, he just he looks like a little rabid bulldog. Like he's just going to kill everyone. Yeah. That speaking of pre workout. I'm sure that guy's on every single protein powder and creatine <laughs> <laughs> pre-workout. Yeah, he like, has to be. You don't look like that unless you're on everything. Oh yeah, he's a badass. Oh dude, he's and, strong. And he's he had a he has a heart. Besides he's, this cute little boy that he has running around that he always just posts like, I, "Oh, he's my smile." I'm like, "Shut up." That's nice. I don't like it. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it was funny when uh when Monster was was uh humble bragging on the socials about hey I, I'm in the thousand pound club and that's legit that's really cool so if you can deadlift four oh five and <laughs> squat three sixty five don't do care all, cool right <laughs> no, no that's cool you know I'm I'm that's... impressed but then, then oh Rob, no I didn't say I wasn't impressed but then Rob nah, got on there was like it. yeah I did uh, I deadlifted like five sixty five or six <laughs> I'm like oh, oh my, my god, god. Uh, that, that explains oh. a lot, Rob. That, that explains a oh, lot. Oh is that why you uh. freaking beat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know why you can't flow roll, Rob? It's that pre-workout. <laughs> Stop <laughs> taking pre-workout. that Pre-workout. So, so that's what it does. It just basically gets you. Yeah, it's like it's just like pumped and ready to go. It, Do you really feel any different? Have you tried it? Oh, so I have a story for you because. Do you? Because of course I do, kid. Shocker. How dare you? you always hey, have a that's story. A, that's a Everything shit. Everything is a story. Well, I'm, you, I'm the funny asshole. He's the funny storyteller. Oh, right. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we're on an episode of Storytellers, eh? You're, yes. I'm sitting here yeah. with my hand it's like an episode under my chin, listening intently to him. Smoking I a pipe. may, I may have, no, God, no. <laughs> this is more the little, like, kid feel. I have my kid, my oh, feet kicked up behind my head. Story time. I'm twirling my hair that I don't have. For nap time, that I, I get love it. story time with Paul. So pre-workout, <clears throat> and Coley's involved in this story. Well, sort of. Yeah, it's sort of. She had, she had to pick me up from the uh, emergency room. I worked with a guy, Ed Hillrich, and he was like... I love how you give names of things. Yes. He, he, I was he, working somewhere. That was... Yeah. Anyway, so he he was into to powerlifting. That was his jam. So he was uh, really, really big and really, really strong. And he was actually one of the corner guys in my cage fight. So he came over and did some uh, MMA stuff with me and stuff, and... It was fun. So he went to the Arnold Classic, and they at the time they had it at the what uh, the hell's the Arnold Classic? A uh, bodybuilding show. Oh, yep. So oh, uh, Jordan went to that shit. This yeah, year, didn't Jordan's he? On, you know all up in that because yeah, Jordan's all in the powerlifting. <laughs> He's all up in Arnold Schwarzenegger. In the <laughs> so yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's into powerlifting and, and uh, bodybuilding and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you go to this show, and they have all these booths. It's kind of like a, a job fair, but for creatine and protein and steroids <laughs> and whatever else you sell that out of yeah, I imagine. Come to our booth of more steroids. <laughs> Are you not competing in anything? Come to our booth. Yeah, I got to imagine there's something like that. So so you, you have, you know, the... Uh, all natural steroids. Yeah, you have all these models with uh, these little baggies and they're passing it out and you're just filling up these bags full of their newest gear, you know, their newest protein, their, their newest pre-workout, blah, okay. blah, blah. So it's all free. So Ed comes back. And he's got this huge bag full of shit. And he's just going through it. He's like, ah, oh, this looks fun. This looks fun. Because he, he takes yeah. all this stuff. And he looks at me. He goes, pick, pick whatever you want. We know, just help yourself. I have all kinds. So I picked something that looked sinister. I'm like, this looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know what it was called. So I took it and I opened it. And I, because we worked out together. At, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was uh, after work. Yeah. Douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> so we, yeah. Uh, so I, sorry, I coughed in the mic again. I just got yelled at. So, Literally ten minutes ago. I know. <clears throat> so we, um, I open up the the pre workout, the sample, yes. and I poured the whole thing in a cup, and I mix it up, and I downed it because I was going to work out in twenty minutes. Fifteen twenty minutes later, when I was about to go work <laughs> out, I'm going, why does my face feel so hot? <laughs> That's awesome. And my my hands were starting to to tickle, and my feet tickle tickle tingle. You no no no. It was it was tickle. So you were tickling yourself. Tickling is an action. Tingle. My my hands are starting <laughs> to tingle. Yes. <laughs> and my my feet felt like there was needles poking into them. So like a what the like f- an oh yeah. So I'm stomping on the ground, thinking is there is there something in my shoe? Like what is going on with my feet? Like I felt like I had to take my shoes off and and just scratch this. <laughs> this. That had nothing to do with the rest of your body being all jacked up. Oh, so. My my job at the time, I had to fill a bowl feeder, and it had a mirror on the top of the bowl feeder, so I so could, you could see what was yeah, going yeah, in. Exactly. Okay. So I'm, I crawled at the top of the the ladder, 
And I go to put the parts in, and I, and I catch my reflection in the mirror, and I went, "Holy <laughs> shit! I am stop sign red." No shit. I am like I am beat. Like ugh. like you don't get that sunburned. You just don't. You're I'm as red so as our table every, or your shirts. Every, every wear, bit every, of blood in your head. It was all in my face. Is in your face. I look. So I'm looking at my hands, and they're my hands are as red as my face, but it's 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 um growing up my arms so the red is crawling up my veins into my hell? arms oh yeah i can i can actually watch it crawl up my arms that's kind of cool it <laughs> i look like red hulk Ooh, because my that's my, pretty cool because whatever's in this made my veins just pop so you know how you if you i don't know if for those of you who work out and try to get the pump you know yeah get after it and you get all veiny and they're sticking out and they're all Oh Pussy yeah, that's and, me in a nutshell. Oh yeah, you're just jack, jack to the gills. <laughs> so I was look, I was looking like that before I lifted anything. It, oh, it was gross. Like I've never been that. You know, if you get a tourniquet and your veins start popping, oh yeah, out, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So oh. for those of you that don't work out, so I went, I went to Adam. Like, <laughs> for those that are here, I, so I walked. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's where my head went. Sorry. <laughs> so I walked in Ed's office and I and I said, bro. And I was going to say, I think I have to go to the hospital. That's where I was going to go. And I said, hey, bro. And he turns around and he goes, oh, my God, you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he took one look at me. He said, you need to go to the med station. <laughs> so I hop in my car and I'm trying to haul ass. And this dude pulls out in front of me. And it was everything I could do to miss him. Funny story about that coming up, too. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I thought well, to myself, you can't miss. I'm going to get in a car accident and die of an allergic reaction. <laughs> this is going to be awful. Yay. So, yeah, so I get to the med station and I'm patiently waiting in line as this redness is growing up my veins behind this dude. Okay. And, and, and this very, very uninterested lady is sitting there not looking at the guy, just taking notes, blah, blah, blah. So he leaves and she's still looking at the computer, typing away, click, 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 click. And she, you know, I'm, I'm waiting pay, my, my turn and she looks up at me. And her eyes get really wide, <laughs> and she starts hitting buttons and calling people. And I had no less than half a dozen people grabbing me and escorting me to the back. <laughs> I've never had such great service. <laughs> never in my All life. All you have to do is look like a red bomb. Oh, yeah. You just look like the Red Hulk. and <laughs> Boom. Front of the line. <laughs> oh, my God. They pumped me full of so much Benadryl. I was, I was <laughs> oh, my God. It was wonderful. What the f- fuck was in it that made you have an allergic reaction you I ever figured out no the 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 ingredients list on this was just shit nobody knows you can't pronounce it oh it's no just it's a, like just 17 consonants yeah. and like one vowel right. yeah <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen is why i don't take those pre-workout drinks anymore that's so, so yeah, funny. yeah producer nicole had to go and uh, pick me up and be like what the <laughs> hell is wrong why would you do that and i looked at the pack and the pack said only use half at first <laughs> To see reaction. Should have read that before I dumped the whole pack <laughs> into the water I drank. Yes, but in true pulp fashion, you didn't. Hey, so that's hey, how you roll. Hey, if all else fails, just read the all. directions. After everything Right, so it all failed. I read the directions. <laughs> yeah. and I went, there's there's my problem. I found it. Found the issue. Yeah, so if I'm going to blow up blood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, it was going to explode all out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> red Hulk to red splat. I have veins in my face. It was awesome. <laughs> That's disgusting. That was so gross. So I want to throw one thing. Because I don't know what the hell creatine does for you. But I'm going to take it because you said if I'm going to take anything. So take cre- creatine to help me uh, just kind of recover yeah. and other things. Yeah. So, so creatine... And anybody wants to correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, I'm no, not, we're guessing 90% yeah, of the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it right. So if you take creatine, it's um, it helps put more water into your muscles. So you are able to recover faster. It's just uh, y- y- if you eat red meat, you're eating creatine. So this is just like pushing a whole bunch of that stuff that you normally get from red meat into your body. Like like so, if you eat some steak, you might get a couple grams of creatine okay. every now and then. But if you just take creatine, you'll get five or ten grams a day. Okay. So you're gonna look puffy because your muscles are full of water. Okay. So you can get bigger faster and recover faster because it just it it helps you recover. But if you take it continuously, yeah, you'll get you know six to eight weeks of benefits and go, wow, it really did something. And then you're just gonna plateau. So you have to kind of cycle on and off if you want to keep on getting benefits. So I hear. 
worth it because it's the only one. That, so how long would you cycle then? Because I'm just trying to figure out for me. I would do six weeks on and a couple weeks off. That's what I would do. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, because I got it at home. I got my own shaker. Nice. Yes. I just, I just want to be in better shape. Yeah, it doesn't I mean, hurt to stay on it. But yeah. it's it's the most researched supplement ever. Yeah. And it's the only one that's, well, Is one it of the only beneficial? Ones. That's all yes, I want to know. It is. Okay. If you're going to take a supplement and you want to start working out, that's the one you want to take. Well, yeah, I just want something that helps me recover a little bit because I'm yeah. old. Yeah. And uh, gets just like, I've just got the dad bottle a little bit and I don't like it. Yeah, well. I got to stop drinking soda. I was going to say, <laughs> Mountain Dew isn't helping you, buddy. <laughs> it, Might want to quit that first, but you know, whatever. It's much I'm not going to sit over here and judge. Yes, yes I will. you will. You, you fuck. already did. If you didn't, I wouldn't like you. So I'll let everybody know how it works. Good. Because I Up bought it. Oh, soon. oh, oh, oh. Before and after pictures. Oh, but I'm ugly. I know. That's why I want before and after pictures. <laughs> No, that's was, the only pretty part of me yeah, what, is my head. What, Nicole? I'm sorry. And that's not saying a whole lot. I couldn't hear I didn't you. say anything. I couldn't hear you over my laughter. Yes, I know. We're waiting on you. I said you could just put a, put a burlap sack over his head. He said he was ugly, so. Yes, we could. I just want the bod pick, the dead bod that you're rocking. So hot. <laughs> so <laughs> hot. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Anyways, I now, now, I'd like to ask Paul. About our other sponsor, possibly the coolest tape ever. Ah. Tap tape. I tape my fingers up every time. <clears throat> he does the ligament taping, the X taping. Yes. Uh, if I don't, my hands hurt so bad. Um, yes. Pretty sure I have arthritis. My, I think my grandparents have arthritis. and just It just hurts. Yes, oh, I, I, I have yeah. genetic yeah. The, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I have it too. So it's no good. So so I get like a generic tape from the store and it peels off really easily and it doesn't have any, any flex, any give to it really. So it's it's super simple to cut off the circulation. Yeah, so that's you, why they always have problems yeah, with. Yeah, so you have, to, you have to tape it perfectly because you're either A, going to have purple fingers or you're going to B, have it just fall off. But then if B I... B happens a lot. Yeah, so B happens a lot because I don't like having purple fingers. So... You have to use a whole bunch of it because it's going to start unwinding anyway. So if you only get a little bit to unwind, then the whole thing falls off. So you got to use an abundance of tape to make sure that it doesn't fall off mid-roll. Yeah. So the wonderful people at Tap Tape came up with a solution. They have a bit of a stretchy uh, tape that stays on way better. It's so not, not really stretchy. It's more it has a give to a it. A give, yeah it's, it's, yeah. it's not. And it also, the, the adhesive on it is, especially on the what you use, which was a death grip. Yes. It's actually, the adhesive becomes more adhesive the more you need it. So on a saw, uh, light roll, it's gonna, the tape's going to come off easier for you. Like when you go to take it off at the end of the roll. The harder you roll, the more it activates the adhesive, so the better it holds. So it may fray on the edges, but it's going to stay on your hand, but it's not going to it's not going to tighten up. The adhesive is what's going to make it right. hold on more, rather than the tension like the other tapes. Yeah. I haven't found a tape yet that doesn't start to come off when you're rolling. You're rolling, for Christ's sake. I mean, you're just, you're abusing whatever you're using. So it's going to, but some way more than others. This tape, way less than others. It, it just, it, it just, works really good. It just doesn't really come off. It Like the edge will lift. Which I'm kind of glad because if it didn't, then it would be caught and my hand would go wherever the hell that it was caught on. <laughs> like, a, you right. know, like a string. Oh, shoot. Right. Right. I got to find something to <laughs> grab onto to peel it off. I don't want to do it with scissors every time either. That would exactly. Suck, and yeah. that's just the thing. So it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I right. like it. He started the company just because he was trying to find tape that he liked. Never found anything he liked. Switched to the, you know, just basically made his own tape. So I, like I think that. that's really cool. They're small. They're growing. Homegrown. I love it. it. Yeah. American. American made. Yeah, well, it's an American chick. company. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're awesome. He's a he's a great guy that's running it. Super just guy. trying to do it the right way. Bringing good people like us to help. And uh, That was his first mistake. <laughs> yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> Shouldn't have sent that. I mean, good uh, answer. Better, better done better. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I could have told you better, but whatever. Yeah, well. And uh, But it's awesome stuff. Check it out. Um, it's on Amazon. Just just type in tap tape. Get the death grip. It's black. Yeah, the death grip. It's the black. The other is the fission, I think, and it's white. Um, but really what we like, the death grip. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think more people like the uh, the death grip tape. Yeah, it, well, I think more people when you're really hurting your fingers, making carrot fingers. Yeah. Yeah. No carrot fingers. <laughs> no carrot fingers here. Uh, it's when you're rolling hard because yeah. you're you're gripping much more severe, and it's just it's really cool. So I I know we're talking a lot about our sponsor because we like our sponsor. Yeah, he's really cool. Stuff is awesome. He's really cool. Um, follow him on Instagram because then you can see cool stuff that he works with. It's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I met a black belt once, and his fingers were exactly what he was talking what, about. Yeah, Carrot fingers. They were uh, disgusting. I was. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god! It, it almost made me want to quit jujitsu. I'm like, I don't want my hands to look like that. I, I can't do that. Yeah, like, I, I don't. Yeah, I, no. He was, Nightmare before Christmas hands. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> it was barely functional. Functional. Function. Functional. Thank you. See, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> See, there it is. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> cool, yeah, it's a purpose. <laughs> So, but yeah, you're going to hear way too much about them. Oh, everybody at our gym and any surrounding gym, you will be seeing us. Yes. And I will be taking your picture after you love tap tape. And if you don't, you're stupid. You can't be a friend. Sorry. Nope. Stupid. <laughs> All of you are stupid. Yeah, settle, settle down, Kit. I can't. You I know, love tap tape. You're only a white belt, bro. <laughs> like, they... You, you I bring. You I can bring. only talk so much shit. <laughs> f- bullshit. Have you heard me? Have you met me? I talk oh shit God. to everyone. Uh, well, hey, you talk shit to everyone. I just, you know, pick average black belts yeah. and talk shit You to pick them. the wrong fucking people is what you do. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. So, but yeah, you'll hear a lot about them. Check them out. And you'll like it. I promise. So, and I tried that monkey tape. Everybody probably might have heard of monkey tape. Pretty big. Yeah. Expensive. I got like four rolls for like $16 or something or $12. That's expensive. Way too expensive. And it didn't work very well. It slipped off my fingers every single time. I'm a sweaty mess. So, eh. <laughs> but, you know, tap tape doesn't. So there. Shoe on you. Get some. All right. So, we did get some reviews recently. Oh, what I, did they say? I love reviews. Let me think. Coley, do you have to know what they said? So, I, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, Hold no. on, wait, 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 wait. Do you want to read an iTunes review first? Like a very nice one? You want to know what I'm going to do? Or do you want to tell read? you to shut up. Okay. And ask Coley what she wants to do. There I go. I don't have an iTunes one pulled up. I just have... Ooh. I guess that's my answer. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, we gave, we gave uh, Nick a bunch of shit and said that if you don't review our show because he's a fan he's, he's a, fan. a fan he's a fan he's he kind of like a super fan he's a super fan he well, kind of is he kinda him is. it's a it's a race between him and uh terry. terry yeah terry the super fan yeah he he's been involved on the show because he writes funny stories so he's kind of uh and his writing style is quite unique he's famous if you will well he is now he's now <laughs> <laughs> he's about to become famous or he's yes, famous famous-er. Famous-er. so he, oh he was the f- uh the beautiful poetic voice of the banana bread story yes. so it was either leave a review or we're gonna get paleo banana bread and shove that shit down your throat so yeah that was my threat yes it was perfect <laughs> so. it, it worked because nicole last friday nick posted his review to facebook he gave it five stars and goes on to explain Great new jujitsu podcast by Kermit the Frog and Beaker. <laughs> I'm Beaker. <laughs> In case you already didn't know. At least you know. <laughs> Listen as they destroy the English language by fumbling through semi-interesting stories while giggling and playing footies, barefoot no doubt, along the way. Yeah, that's both of us. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to keep up. <laughs> One can only wonder at the level of intelligence exhibited by these invertebrates for constantly fucking with the black belts in hopes of being disrobed, <laughs> manhandled, and choked out with a belt as blue as their balls. Looking at you, Crowther. So accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so accurate. The only positive is producer Nicole, which I am... <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> To understand is indeed pronounced Nicole, not Nick Hole. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. She brings the much needed warmth to an otherwise cold, dick wilting podcast. <laughs> That's us again. This you know great. it's bad when your mom is the only review. Thanks, mom. I love you. That was fucking hilarious. I wanted to make fun of us. <laughs> <laughs> I read it and go, 
No. <laughs> that's Paul's mom. Can I erase those? Because that's no. Paul's mom. I loved it. Thank you, Mother. That's because she struggled for three days to deliver one of these sad sacks of afterbirth. <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. Thereby nature dictating there be some sort of bond. Uh. Accidentally gave five stars. I'd delete four of them, but I ain't got time, man. My toast is up. In all seriousness, this is a fun, funny podcast that covers more than BJJ. These guys are doing a great job. Give it a listen. Aww. Aww. It was a little heartfelt at the end. So I'm going to bring it back around. So you want to know what's wrong with that one? Hold on real quick. You want to know what's wrong with that review? Go. Is was it, it my w- reading? No, it was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> it was wonderful. I'm, I'm dyslexic, so that just would have came out all gibberish. But if you look at the review, it stops at the part where he says, you know, where you have to press more, more. info. <laughs> more. It fucking says, I would give it less stars if I could. I'm like, oh, <laughs> dot, oh, dot, dot. fuck. <laughs> I didn't Please press that. more. Press more. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so pissed. Amazing placement on that it's like one. That, it's almost like that asshole planned it. I, uh, Can I beat him up? Y- yeah. All yeah. right, good. Yeah, he's just a wrestler. Hey, Nick. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up, son. <laughs> so I get this notification on uh, on Facebook that we got a review. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm excited. And then I'm, I I started to read it, and I about came off my chair laughing. So Nicole was right there. I'm like, let me let me try to read this review to you. I couldn't. I couldn't get through it. <laughs> she was so frustrated with me laughing so hard. Tears are rolling down my face. And I'm almost snot bubbling reading this review, laughing so hard. Oh, it was good. So she actually had to read over my shoulder because she couldn't understand me as I'm trying to read no. this thing laughing. So, point in fact, I, I thought my mom would think it's funny. Nope. She didn't. Nope. <laughs> Did she, like, get all defensive? Oh, Not my baby. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Come on, she mom. She didn't it was, say that. It was funny. Oh, you yeah. want to know what happened? She didn't press the more information button. Oh, that was it. <laughs> That's it. She just didn't do the end. Like, that dude's an asshole. No, it all comes around at the end, Mom. He was just kidding, as far as you know. As far as you know, he's an asshole. It's fine. But yeah, we've been uh, we've been getting some reviews on iTunes and Facebook, and I really appreciate that, so thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have two to read off ours. And go. Because one of them is from, I think, another pretty big fan of us, because he constantly fixed our grammar and shit. Oh. <laughs> so, thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, so one of it uh, this is off iTunes this is from Mike not Mick uh, no Mike not Mike M-I-C is like a mic that you thanks in, anyways to, uh, uh, you were trying to be funny I, w- I was but fuck it fail stamp nope you fucked it up <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I know right he was trying to talk over you earlier you should slap him sometimes many times he has been douche Terry, help me out. I know. Choke him. Snuggle and choke. Snuggle and yes. choke. Put him to sleep. So we have, I am a huge fan of BJJ slash grappling podcast. However, this is the only podcast along with Grappling Central. Awesome. Also. But uh, I like yep. to be in that gra- Be mentioned with them is quite cool. That I listen to. Grappling Dead stays on topic. Think he might have been listening to a different episode. <laughs> right, what show he did hasn't you listen listened to, to any of the ones no. we've recorded. <laughs> no, no, he comes around, comes around. Yet yeah, uh, goes just out of just go out of their comfort zone and topic zone to make you pay attention to their narrative. We have a narrative, people. Narrative. What's a narrative? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not bright. Ask the goggle; it'll tell you. Goggle it. <laughs> Can't spell that either. It um it doesn't feel scripted, it's cuz it's not. <laughs> uh, like other podcasts, the natural flow of it makes it a blast to listen to. Audio quality is also awesome. Pat on my back. The, That's you know, me. Hey hey go, hey uh, hey Ben Graff. Audio quality quality would be better if you, if you speak fucking into talk the into the mic. mic. Bye Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Don't know how to explain how much I appreciate this podcast. That's awesome. That is awesome. That was that's thank you, sir. Stellar, and I got to do this. This is for the sword and the spoon. Yes. Proceed. This is a short one, so we're good. I give this podcast five stars. Thanks for reiterating that. I don't listen to any other BJJ podcast, so I have nothing to compare it to. I assume this is the best one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you assume correctly, sir. Damn right, sir. Do not spread your wings. Be honest. I don't listen to anything else. 
I'm pretty sure this is the best. <laughs> nor nor and, should you. And nor should you check. Just let it go. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I would hate to think you, you'd listen to another one and go, now this is better. <laughs> <laughs> fuck those grappling dad guys. Yeah, yeah, fuck those uh, guys. Yeah. So Actually, no, you really? want to know what? I'm going to ask Chris. We're funnier than most, and we are not comedians. That's obvious. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we have no problem with hating ourselves, so I think it, it pans out. I think the self-deprecating humor... I was going somewhere with that, and I lost my train of thought. Wow, that was quick. Oh, I screwed that one up. How Off are you even going anywhere? You got two words in. Uh, yeah, I, I I fell down on <laughs> that one. You know how you want to talk about something, and you figure your brain's going to catch up? What, saying didn't, positive things about us? Yeah, Is that did, what the yeah. fucking problem was? Yeah, I didn't do it. Didn't do it that time. Why does your husband hate himself so much? I have no idea. I don't know, whatever, he's ugly. I mean, that's... That doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't that doesn't help. doesn't help at all. Uh, that, just takes, <laughs> that just takes your wind out of your sails, really. So, speaking of you and somehow how you brought up, you know, you know, produced beautiful offspring. Thank you, Coley. Oh, it's all me. I know it. Your kids look like you. Thank God. Right. Um, <laughs> and the milkman, for some so other reason. One, you, <laughs> <laughs> Good, I, I'm not what? mad at that. Jeez, my, my genes suck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> What century are you fucking in? Oh, I no forgot, man. dude. <laughs> you couldn't use the mailman, you jackass? <laughs> no, because then it wouldn't be Paul Perotti, old man talk. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's going to walk learned. He's gonna walk down here with suspenders on and pants up to his nipples. Don't forget the bow tie. He's t- he's not good enough for a bow tie. I can't. I, I will give him this. try, though. He can't tie that shit. I'm not tying it It'll for him. It'll be a clip-on. Be real. Yeah, it will. It, it would, yeah. <laughs> and it'll be a kid's tie on, a kid's clip uh, on, too. It's going to be too small for his big, fat head. <laughs> yeah, 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 we already talked about me being worthless on the last show. But oh, the yeah, upside yeah. Down turtle. Oh, my God, I about <laughs> died. <laughs> Is it bad that I forgot I said that to oh, you? Jesus. <laughs> Until I texted you the other day. <laughs> yeah, I just started laughing. I go, wow, I'm an asshole. <laughs> that was so funny. I, I tried to be like, no, I'm like, I'm like the lion. You know, I protect. And he's like, no, you're like an upside down turtle, bro. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> wow, that hurts. Uh, I want to move past that one like it never happened. <laughs> oh, why are that we friends? Me. I was laughing. So you were saying hard. something before we cut you off. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I just want to see how the kids are doing. Ah. Um, mine, personally, yes. are doing great. Um, both of them had great training sessions the last few. Um, both of them won their rolling, I guess. It was how would you rolling. know you weren't even there this week? Uh, you hear stories? I have a wife. You know that, right? Yes, I do. Have you met her before? Yes, I have. She's real pretty. Shouldn't be with me. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet and nice. And if I had known her years ago, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking glad you didn't meet her. <laughs> talked her out of you. It's like, dude, don't do it, sweetie. <laughs> you want to know? It wouldn't have worked. I tried. You can do better. <laughs> it's like, wow, you are stupid. <laughs> All this right here. Don't just don't. Did, did you hear? Did, did you hear? Uh, Sydney and Sydney were rolling. No, Dude, yes, yes, wife, yes, 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 yes. I did hear. Dude, it was really. You can't good. see. You can't see the middle finger that I am so giving you. Typically, <laughs> typically, when our it shouldn't when your kids and our kids roll, they just screw around. Yes, but, try to poke each other's yeah, faces. But this last time, dude, they were getting after it. They were doing really good. They were trying, but they were still being very respectful. They were using technique. They were doing a lot better than some of the adults. My I Sydney, know. yeah, our Sydney's. Our Sydney, our Sydney's huh? so rolling the June, together. The June bug and the Sydney were both. Yeah, dude, wow. it was no, it was. That kind of blows my mind because Jen said they rolled together, and that was it. Yeah. It made me proud. Like That's looking awesome. at them, it, it legitimately swolled my heart. Swole. I like it. Yeah. Swollen heart. I wish you were there to see it. You, you would might love it. need to go to the doctor. I think that's a, <laughs> that's a problem if you have an enlarged heart. I'm on creatine, bro. Leave me alone. I'm not. I'm on pre-workout. <laughs> 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 I am so scared of that shit right now. <laughs> did you, did you, we already had a pre-workout story from Morgan that you vomited all over the ground. Oh, yeah. See, I'm the, not taking this Oh, shit. no, the small children are walking through pre-workout puke. I thought it was fantastic <laughs> that Ben actually witnessed that. Like, yeah, that, no. that High five, Ben. Gold. Gold. Love Thanks, that Ben. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. Good job. Way to go. Love it. Uh, what about Caden? Oh, so Caden, interesting story. Yeah, I asked about both children, you son of a bitch. So, so Coach Chad... The sponsor of our show brought up uh, Black line month- like Jiu-Jitsu, <laughs> brought up Jiu-Jitsu. months ago that he's going to start giving away student of the month patches. So he already gives away stretching patches, ago. paying attention yeah, patches. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, what else? What else? Respect. Is Respect. The other one. Yeah, and then he he, uh, he added the student of the month. So 
on the car ride home, she was saying to you, what, honey? As soon as it was introduced. Oh, initially last yeah. year? Yeah. Oh, she wanted to be the first one to earn the student of the month badge. Right. So we're she'd t- only been there a couple weeks. Yeah. I mean, she, maybe She month. tied someone. <clears throat> she tied one person. So she ended Ad, up. Addie got in the other class the same week. Oh, did she? You didn't know that? No, no I didn't I realize you guys were going to the other class at Yeah, that we time. were at the other class at that time. Oh, okay. Ah, didn't and know that. Addie got it that time. It was pretty cool. Anyways, go ahead. So she wanted to be the first one to win it. So we're trying to tell her politely, like, you're doing a great job. We know you pay attention, but he's got a lot of other kids to pay attention to. And so if you're not, don't be upset. Just keep trying your hardest, and you'll eventually get it. So essentially, don't be butthurt. Right. So she, sure enough, won it the first the first time. And then her sister won the uh, paying attention patch. So they both they both got one. So her sister got that one the next class. So they're they're doing great. But since then they haven't got anything. So my June j- bug hasn't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> she ADD She's bro, it's ADD. We talked about this. We talked about this. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I yeah. Keep screwing up your yeah. story. So we uh, he gave out another paying attention patch to this uh, young man, Preston. No, he got student of the month. Student of the yeah, month. He got student, yeah, student of the month. He, he's yeah, and he deserves it. Oh, he's for a good sure. Damn student. For sure. Yeah. When when he got that, I was I was proud of him because I I can see him and he how hard he hard, works. Yeah. And he doesn't try to bully anybody. Nope. It's it's awesome. He's a good student. Yeah. Well, most of them are. So, all of them. So Caden was <laughs> upset that she didn't get anything and i told her well it's because you don't work as hard as preston you just don't i can watch him and i watch you and you do good you you don't mess around but you you play with your friends and he is there and he takes it serious 100 percent of the time he just does that's that's the way it goes so she made the decision to try to pay attention really really hard and and try to partner with preston from now on which I thought, well, not from now on, but more, more so because well, he's... Well, just more kids in general who will challenge her. Right. Rather than pa- pa- partnering up with Addie and then they end up screwing around. Yeah. So she she rolled with Preston this last time. Yeah. And it was a hell of a fight. I mean, it was really, really And he's not good. even that... He hasn't been doing it that long. No, he's no. just athletic. I think he's older than her a little bit, isn't he? I think maybe. Yeah. Who cares? No, he's he's is, doing good. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, he's athletic. I think his whole family's uber athletes. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Lots of sports. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're that they're that family that's into all of that stuff. Can't do it. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> that takes time. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't care. have. Yeah. No, it takes a level of care you don't have. But yeah, so I'm just proud of her that she she realizes, okay, he deserves this and here's why. And I can tell her it's because you don't deserve it as much as he does. So if you want that, again, you need to do what he's doing because he's doing everything right. So she took it to heart. She's trying to work harder now. I thought it was pretty cool. It is very cool. Yeah. Even though Chad doesn't like to give them out twice. <laughs> No, 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 Chad! Don't give her squat. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not asking for anything. For sure, don't give her anything. But I'm just glad that yeah. she's she's. Uh, no, she is. She is one of the great students. Yep. Like there's all good students. She's one of the greats. I think all four of our kids are. Sydney, a little bit less, just because she just likes to have too much fun. We're all super biased too, though. So there's that. Fuck that. <laughs> I looked at other kids. <laughs> not as cool as mine. <laughs> Rose colored glasses. My mm, ass. Nice. Right? So, <laughs> we're bad parents. Yeah, well. Bad parents? We do Good our, parents? We do our best, but we I have. never offered my kid 100 bucks to get in a fight at school. Who the flip did that? Did you not listen to the last episode? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben did that. <laughs> so technically, technically, yeah, kind of technically no, he did that. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, he offered him yeah. Technically, he did that to shit. To get into a fight. Yeah, yeah. That you was don't, the premise. Yeah, you don't wear that without expecting him <laughs> to have to fight. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> it was, I, I that would really do that. Affect me. I would do that. I'm not kidding. No, hey, no, you wouldn't. I would. My no, Kate, you, wouldn't. Kate. you would be the kid to get punched in the face. So I'm, d- <laughs> yeah. No, no, I wouldn't. I, no, I would encourage my kid to do that because she can actually fight where I would just get beat up. Yeah, but you, would, why would, yeah. you didn't you even would need to wear the suit. No, to get beat I, up. I just got beat for no reason. Oh, Paul just showed up <laughs> in his own clothes. Yeah, um, yeah to I, whoop his I, ass. All, all my SBs are due to the circumstances of me being a dork, and I couldn't help that. So, <laughs> and he still can't. Oh, he so, just knows how to defend himself so, now. So we, yeah, I know, right? We were at uh, we were at uh, the party, the UFC party, 
and everybody was getting pictures out of their uh, uh, younger pics, like when they were kids. And I'm like, oh, I got a checkmate right in my <laughs> pocket. So I found my high school prom, prom picture. picture. That is the best. The, the tux that's seven sizes too big. The bowl cut that's going, I think, against the grain of his hair. Oh, and dude. the sweet, where did, what would those glasses look Harry like? Potter. Oh, they were Harry Potter glasses. I don't know. I was equating them to like. But bigger. A gym teacher that actually got beat up. Oh, That's why I looked at those glasses. So yeah, I had that. So I, I scrolled to my pictures and I brought that up, and I was showing it to the ladies that were showing their their kid pictures. Their adorable pictures, and like they all Mel? just they all just stared at it with mouths agape <laughs> before they started laughing until they cried. <laughs> I'm like, and checkmate, and <laughs> I win, I win, but win, somehow win. still yeah. lose. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. So we got two things to close on. Okay, only two, just two, just two. All right. I have to get my children. Ah. So, I mean, I've only, I've already forgot Ella <laughs> at the babysitter to get to jujitsu. Can anyone blame me for that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, everyone should fucking blame me for that. Literally took me 10 minutes after getting there to notice, too. It was Maybe you more. You didn't notice. No, somebody had to, some yeah. random person without yeah. any children yeah. had to notice. Yeah, where's uh, where's, <laughs> where's your, your kid? third kid? So you know you have three kids, right, Kip? Oh no, uh, she's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get her. It may take me ten to fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. So speaking of cars, oh god, you may have noticed a post or two of Paul and I's wonderful trip to Crawlers. Yeah. Or the half trip? Not yeah. even half. No, we, we got about a third of the way if that, maybe a good quarter. <laughs> and it was funny because we're driving down, and this car passes us going- A hundred million miles per hour. Five hundred miles an hour minimum. And we're like, oh my God. He better get pulled over. <laughs> so so literally- I hope he drives off the road and Literally dies. ten miles down the road, <laughs> there's, a, there's a cop pulled somebody over. We were so, so excited. We're, oh, we were giddy. <laughs> So we're like, please be him, please be him. And it wasn't, of course. Of course not. It wasn't. No so, justice. So we were lamenting just past the cop how that guy should have got popped. And we're giggling and cackling like school children when... Bam! Literally bam. Yeah. <laughs> with no reaction. Just what the hell happened? We hit a deer at 75 miles an hour. No brakes. Nothing. Nothing. I didn't even see Which it. Which is it's what just, you're supposed to do, but yeah. guess what? It's loud and hurts. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, Kip ate an airbag. Mine didn't go off for some reason. That was awesome. Yes, but the cool thing is, is your seatbelt worked. Yes. No, Mine, it didn't. Yours, his didn't either? When I got to the body shop on Tuesday, his seatbelt was just like yours. So you but got yanked mechanism. forward too, huh? It's a mechanism. So what I found out from the guy at the body yeah. shop is when the airbags go off, it, it's a secondary, it lets go. Oh. Yeah. So wow, you could have been fucked, son. <laughs> hmm. Dang it! She touched my leg. Oh, sorry. That's worse. Yeah. Just realized it. So yeah, my seatbelt was <laughs> fucked too. Yeah, yeah. No, I, it's some the car does, dude. Yeah. The, Do you not listen? Well, I thought I thought it was just for the airbag though. Yes, my it, airbag it must have assumed off. yours went off. Well, I don't know if it assumed yours went off, but the, when I talked to Dan at the body shop, he because I. On Saturday when I got there, I had only opened the passenger side door because the driver's side was still in the lane of traffic. So when I went to clean out the car, I opened the driver's side door and I noticed your seatbelt was jacked too, just like his. And so uh. it has something to do with the airbag deployment. Hmm. He di Dan didn't say whether it, it was independent, each airbag, or whether they were tied together just in the airbag system. But when the airbag deploys, yeah, it releases the seatbelt, and they're fully extended. You can't. No, oh, weird. Oh, so basically, down. I didn't have a seatbelt or an airbag <laughs> when I hit a deer at 75. Well, we, well it, didn't, it didn't stop us. We launched that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I that think, dude went flying off the highway. What did the cop say about where he found it? He was off the road. He goes, there's no one going to hit that deer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys did a good job getting him off the road. Uh, thanks, sir. <laughs> He didn't have to get out his shovel. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, by the way, getting hit with an airbag at 6 a.m.? Wake up. That's a wake up and a half. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't get hurt at all or an airbag in your face, you get to act like a complete lost moron because that's what your husband did. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> we talked about the upside down turtle already. <laughs> I love you to death. You are one of the coolest, smartest people I know. Nope. But, man, are you fucking incapable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You know, you know what I'm capable. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm capable of? 
not getting wrist locked by a croiler on a Saturday morning. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, croiler, come get me. Yeah, exactly. boom, Our son. Car was totaled. Yeah, well, you're getting a new minivan. Woohoo! Yay! Blame. I know we're so excited. Like, oh God. I'm uh, gonna put some twenty twos on it. New oh. car smell, baby. I'm gonna get a big old muffler. Stop! Stop! No one cares about a fucking minivan. No, don't hurt me. I can I can put a lot of geese in a minivan. Valid. Bam. I'm buying around. geese soon. I can't wait. Super excited. Nice. I have a so job yeah. and can pay for things. So yeah, so pro tip. You don't <laughs> want to get wrist locked by a curler Gracie? Hit a deer. <laughs> Hit a fucking deer there's at your 6 a.m. There's your uh, Paul Perotti pro tip of the day. So I want to get back to uh, how lost Paul was. Oh. No, he moved so. by that. Oh, no, no he didn't. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My, I'm circling back around because it was quite impressive. Uh, well, would you look at the time, ladies and gentlemen? It's uh, <laughs> Kip's got to go pick up some children. I do. My wife's. But Close you want to know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take the heat because everyone has You're not to know get this chance again. The lost puppy yeah. that I had to deal with after the accident. So first off, we're sitting there. He goes, "What do I do?" <laughs> well, first we get off the road. Because he did an amazing job getting off the highway. Somehow he found an exit, and we couldn't see anything. <laughs> no, I couldn't see squat. No, nothing. Like, and he got he found an exit. <laughs> so I'm not totally worthless. So Damn. well done. Not only did I not no, get wrist locked, no. yeah, I instincts, got off the road. Your instincts are great. Actual thought process, mm, shit, worthless. <laughs> <laughs> so he is lost. So what did I have to do? I had to call. I had to find your insurance. I had to find the insurance phone number. I had to give you that. Oh wait, no, I had to call it and hand it to you. And then I had to call, get the talk to the police officer because Paul was asked for his driver's license, insurance, and registration. I kept on taking the and he kept taking back. the registration, <laughs> the insurance back from the police officer. And the cop was so nice because he just looks at me. He's like, "Can you stop him?" <laughs> like, no. Like, I was like, "He knows jujitsu. You can't stop him. He's I an go, animal." I go, "Hold on, I'll bring it to you." He goes, "I guess I'll just work with what I got." And he walks back with not enough information to make the police report so i go and just say he needs this i have to take it away from paul with the most confused look on your face what the i'm like what do you need that for but I, but I need it i'm trying to make an insurance call i need this kip i'm on the phone with them right now they're gonna ask for this number in three seconds <laughs> and i can't say hold on there's a police officer that needs it Anyways, i was being asked questions yeah uh, it was just great it basically came down to Paul wandering around with a really lo- weird look on his face. You know what that look was? That was, I finally got my big boy car. After driving a 99 Honda Civic for 20 years, I finally got a car. I'm like, yes, I've arrived. That car was pretty bad. I, I, owned, it, <laughs> I owned it for nine months and ruined it and <laughs> totaled that bitch out. Well, yes. And I was super sad that I couldn't go but get But you were slot. alive. You, like, dude, that could have killed you. It, oh, wait, hold on. Why didn't your airbag go off? We smashed that sucker on the driver's side. Yes, we did. I asked that question. Hey, I did not get a good answer. I want. I want a new car. Seriously, Come on, Honda. dude, that's messed up. Yeah, don't. Isn't there a Takata airbag there recall on that? Was I don't know about on the Accord. No, the it was. Only, it was on no, every Honda. Yeah, but the only problem with those, if you didn't w- follow the recall. Oh, we did. They said, wait wait for us to call you when we have the parts in. No, I never got a recall notice on the Accord. I thought we did. But I, l- just look I it up. I got a recall, but not for the Takata airbag. Ah. I took it in for something else. Recently, I had a recall done on it. But oh, it that was for the fire thing. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. for the airbag. I would look it up anyways. Just anyways. This is boring. Moving on. And <laughs> so is and, story. And I have to get going. No, that shit was entertaining. You're worthless when it comes to... Anything you need your wife for. <laughs> yes. I told you. She takes really good care of me. Be jealous, everybody. Mm, Be jealous. You have to. Yeah. Hence I got you, a maid. Hence until you being I called to, a fucking turtle. Until, until I need to do something, and then it's it doesn't work out. But you aware, <laughs> you're aware of what's going to happen if anything happens to your wife. I'm moving in with you. Yeah. Problem you, solved. We're going to have to put you in Bink's room. Yeah. That's my cat. Done. <laughs> Done. So you can live with him. That's more room than I need. I'm a tiny, <laughs> tiny human tiny being. Tiny human yeah. being over here. So, so that is how we avoided wrist locks. Oh, and Croiler's awesome. He goes, hey, are you guys okay? How's Good. the wrists? And then he goes, and I'm like, oh, we're fine. He goes, how are your wrists? Yeah. <laughs> like, motherfucker. Thanks, homie. And then I answered with, can still do jazz hands, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't actually say that. I'm scared of him. Yeah, I probably said something like that, though. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, Welcome to my world, kid. So I... I mean, 
I'm stupid. Yes. That's really what it comes down to. So, last thing we need to talk about is how I have to go pick up my kids because my wife's going to kill me. Because <laughs> I just realized we've been talking for like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. We can wrap it up. I think it's a good time. Cole, you got anything else? I don't. I love putting her on the spot. We're waiting on you. Rob's waiting. Time. You got to yeah. come Just up with something <laughs> inspiring. <laughs> We're good. These fucking people are waiting for something inspiring yeah. from hey, you. Hey, Jen, when you listen to this later, your husband is stalling. Ooh. Ooh. That was yeah. an asshole move. Wow. What a douche move on that, that was. Note. On that note, I got to be All right, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye.